Okay, as I explained before, light with different wavelengths is emitted from the surface of the sun. So this is the sun. Light is emitted from the surface of the sun. Different wavelengths. Some light is absorbed by gas with low temperatures during the light travels to the earth. So this is the earth. Some uh, low temperature gas is surrounded. The hot part of the sun. And during the, uh, while the light travels, some of the light is actually is absorbed, cannot penetrate this low temperature part. The absorbed light, this is absorbed light. Absorbed light is observed as the absorption lines. This absorption line of the sun was first detected by Fraunhofer. In the laboratory on the Earth, Bunzen made a number of experiments to find similar absorption lines using the material on the Earth. By comparing the both absorption lines, in the laboratories and also absorption line from the sun, we realize that the sun and the earth are made of the same atoms. This is one of the greatest discoveries in science in history. Absorption lines have different depths of gaps in the spectral energy distributions. The deep gap in the di energy distribution indicates that more atoms that absorb the photons exist in the suns. By examining the relative depths of the gaps, we could find the relative abundance of atoms in the suns. We discovered four each single neons. So if we consider single neons, one single neons, one single neons, we could f find uh, uh, one nitrogen, one nitrogen, and four carbons, four carbon, and eight oxygen, eight oxygen, thousand, one thousand heliums, one thousand heliums, and ten thousand hydrogen, ten thousand hydrogen. It's really big numbers. The main component of the sun is hydrogen and helium. This is the main component. Okay. Even though the relative quantity of the heavy element is very small with respect to the hydrogen and the helium, the main component of the heavy element are carbon. Carbon and nitrogen and oxygen. These heavy elements are essential to build our bodies because amino acid, amino acid and the DNA could not be formed without these heavy elements. Now we are going to solve the practice. At first, we need to calculate the total mass of atoms. We need to multiply the mass number with the number of atoms to calculate the mass of the atoms, each atom. Total mass of all the atoms is obtained as the sum of the masses of the atoms. So, total mass. Can be calculated. 
از mass number of the hydrogen is one so one times ten thousand this is hydrogen plus helium is four times thousand this is helium plus uh, Carbon is 12 times 4 plus nitrogen is 14 plus 1 and uh, I forgot oxygen 16 plus 8 this is the oxygen and the neon 20 times one and then you can use a calculator this is new to calculate total mass this becomes one four two one zero this is total mass of the atoms the mass fractions of the atoms can be calculated by divided by the mass total mass of the atoms so hydrogen mass fraction of the hydrogen so we use a uh, uh, X capital X to describe the mass fraction of the hydrogen is gonna be one times 10,000 so this numbers comes from here divided by total mass so you can easily calculate this is 0 0.70 mass fraction of the hydrogen is becomes 0 0.70 and the helium we use a capital Y okay so this is four times thousand divided total amount of mass and it's become 0 0.28 and the heavy element so we use a capital Z so you can easily calculate is one minus X capital X minus capital Y it's become 0 0.02 in astronomy scientists often do not care about the mass fraction of each heavy element and they use this G to describe the mass fraction all of all the heavy element so this is the end of the, this practice